ओके दैट्स अ क्वेश्चन गाइस संस्कृति इज एन इंग्लिश टीचर टीचिंग टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड स्टूडेंट्स इन अ गवर्नमेंट एडेड कॉन्वेंट स्कूल हर क्लास कंसिस्ट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु आर फ्रॉम इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग एज वेल एज हिंदी स्पीकिंग फैमिलीज she has noticed that the hindi speaking students take a little more time to understand her lessons while the english speaking seem to rush ahead and start disturbing the entire class okay so how should she ensure that uh, all the students benefit from her teaching and that discipline remains ment- uh, maintained in the class okay just you can just pause this uh, set guys and just try this for 2 uh, 3 minutes and then you can check the answer okay chalo we'll discuss this now so option a says that she should teach at a pace in which uh, in, in which the hindi speaking students are most comfortable so that their learning is as much as the as the other students right dekho so this actually say uh, this says that how should we ensure that right how should she ensure that right so the in distance making i have observed uh, <coughs> this thing actually that a lot of people uh, tend to just read the passage and the set and the options right and they tend to forget the question in between so guys don't forget the question in between right is very important while as while solving any question of decision making don't forget the question in between okay you have to ultimately answer the question right okay so how should she ensure that all the students benefit from her teaching and that discipline remains maintained in the class right now if you read option 1 guys so basically uh, option 1 is uh, disadvantages for uh, one of the groups obviously because uh, if she is teaching at a pace of hindi speaking student right the other group is getting a bit uh, kind of this is not uh, so advantageous a situation for them so kind of this option a is like uh, disadvantage for one of the group okay disadvantage for one of the groups actually okay so not so good point okay now so we will put a cross on a now <clears throat> come to second one guys now second is b is here she should increase her pace to match that of english speaking students the increased decorum will help the english speaking students to understand concepts quicker again same thing right again it is disadvantageous for one of the groups actually so both option a and b we can rule out it is favoring only one of the groups okay now move to c option guys okay option c says that she should uh, divide the class between the two groups and give additional assignment to the english speaking group so that everyone goes at the same pace right so again she want to indulge them into some activities right because they disturb the class so it looks fair enough uh, we can't uh, put a cross right now so c looks a better option than a a and b of course so we'll look for the further options also so let's put a question mark here and let's move forward right let's go to d here now d says that she has she should establish a process where every english speaking student sits with a with a hindi speaking student and spends his free time assisting his partner in understanding the topic better right now this looks a good option guys okay you understand understand that because this uh, this option d will have a a age over option c why because uh, option 3 will cause a feeling of inequality to spread through the students of the class and may hamper their learning actually in option c right but in option d it's like it's like, it's improving every uh, every uh, hindi student in this speaking student also uh, with the help of english speaking student so that that encourage peer peer learning right and basically uh, this option uh, d is basically free from such flaws here okay so also there's a kind of a nurt- uh, uh, it will nurture a feeling of uh, happiness or a bit of satisfaction among all the students okay and will help them in the learning process right so that's why d is a good option so d is better than c right now okay let's read e also guys okay now in e it says that she should maintain a medium pace that will demand the hindi speaking students to work harder while limiting the amount of free time to english speaking ones right it basically this option e uh, does nothing to change the current situation and is more of a kind of work around uh, that than a solution right so it's more of a work around than a solution okay so option e will also not go so d is the correct answer for this right So I hope uh, it's clear. I've explained every option. Let's go to the next question, guys. Now, second question here says that Amazing Chips Limited, a snacks manufacturing company located in Delhi, okay, as of now sells its products in Delhi and NCR region only. Since the company had been doing quite well for the last three years, the management is thinking of expanding the business pan India to ensure that the expansion plan would be profitable. the management decided to undertake a cost benefit analysis okay which are the factors that management must consider for their cost benefit study okay statement 1 gives operations and logistic cost if operation statement 2 marketing expense statement 3 only local 
कॉम्पिटिशन इन द न्यू सिटीज स्टेटमेंट फोर बोथ लोकल एंड नेशनल कॉम्पिटिशन स्टेटमेंट फाइव वर्किंग कैपिटल स्टेटमेंट सिक्स न्यू फैक्ट्री स्टेटमेंट सेवन ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज एंड एट प्राइस ओके सो गॉट टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन ईयर राइट जस्ट अगेन टेक टाइम ऑफ वन मिनट गाइज एंड जस्ट ट्राई टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन ईयर ओके यू कैन जस्ट पॉज दिस वीडियो चलो तो विल डिस्कस दिस ना ओके दीज आर ऑप्शन गाइज ए बी सी डी एंड ए लेट्स एनालाइज इट वन बाई वन स्टेटमेंट वन सेज दैट ऑपरेशन एंड लॉजिस्टिक्स कॉस्ट राइट बेसिकली द प्रोडक्शन नीड्स टू बी इंक्रीज ओके सो ऑपरेशन कॉस्ट नीड्स टू बी कंसिडर्ड ऑल्सो लॉजिस्टिक्स कॉस्ट राइट सो बिकॉज द गुड्स आर बिंग ट्रांसपोर्टेड ऑल अक्रॉस द कंट्री सो लॉजिस्टिक्स कॉस्ट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इयर सो वर्ड फर्स्ट वन शुड बी देयर ओके सेकेंड वन मार्केटिंग एक्सपेंस ओके नाउ दे वॉन्ट टू टू क्रिएट ऑब्वियसली दे वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अवेयरनेस अबाउट द प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्ट अमंग द पब्लिक ओके सो नीड दे नीड टू इनकम सर्व एडिशनल मार्केटिंग कॉस्ट ऑल्सो सो दे हैव टू इनकर मार्केटिंग एक्सपेंस ऑल्सो इयर फाइन and they have to take that into account third one is local competition in new cities and fourth is both local and national between uh, guys in between third and fourth fourth is a good choice why fourth is a good choice because uh, the company is planning to exp uh, expand pan india so once they are planning to expand pan india okay they will need to consider both the local competitors of each city and also the national competitors right so that's why fourth is a good point here okay now also uh fifth one is my, my working capital guys okay working capital this why because they go uh let's think this way uh since the manufacturing quantity would increase okay then the company's working capital requirements will also increase right and they need to consider the same in the cost benefit analysis also right so that's why working capital is also important okay sixth one is new new factory okay so new factory is may not be the immediate need actually right okay so this uh, may not be that immediate need okay and they should think of it only after they have established themselves in few cities actually that's important right okay that will come at a later stage so new factory not that important move to seventh one human resources right so seventh is human resources so hr or human resources they have to be factored obviously right because they need to hire more people to do sales and marketing for them pan india across india okay that's why it is very very important okay and they also need to may, they may also need to hire in the other other departments also like operations and all to uh, to get the, to cater for that increasing work workload okay so okay and eighth one is price here so once you talk about the price guys okay so obviously basically the company may need to uh, revise their price okay depending on the added additional expenses and taxes whatever uh, basically they are uh, giving in those business expansion right so price also is a factor they need to consider actually right so with 3 and 6 we can eliminate so all the other we can consider so option a is a good answer right a is a good answer for this a is the answer fine chalo let's do the next question guys now this question says that ahmed khan Has just been hired as the marketing head of Bharat Labour Limited. His first project is to design advertising and marketing campaigns for Bharat Labour's newest product, Fuzz Cola, India's first ever aerated Jajira drink. The drink is priced in the same range as all other aerated drinks in the market. Bharat Labour has not stepped into the aerated drink segment ever since the 1980s, which was when they had launched a similar drink which failed miserably and caused them to shut shop. Okay. So which of the following uh, which of these uh, following campaigns are most suited to mr khan's requirement right so again just take a pause of 2 2 uh, 3 minutes guys and just attempt this question okay we'll discuss it now okay so option is uh, option a says that using the bharat liver brand to advertise first cola first as a bharat liver limp product then as a new type of drink okay So this is basically uh, the people will remember that 19 it is uh, that uh, problem that happened at that time that failure and they may uh, that may be they are away from this uh, Bharat Liver brand because it has completely failed earlier also okay so directly uh, using their same brand to use first call advertise first call is also not that good for campaigning part right so we can eliminate first option actually okay people will remember that 19 it is fiasco okay now. uh option 2 if you read this uh basically keeping the first cola brand as away as possible from bharat liver brand to hide their previous failure right so basically again this is extreme option so they don't want to uh, completely 
keep it away from that bath liver or, or there's a kind of more of a give up situation straight away because they are not looking for uh trying to uh take some alternative option that directly trying to okay just keep this uh, away from this main brand right so this uh, a give up straight away is not that good so good right so again uh, this is a b option is not a good campaign technique also okay we can just eliminate that c if you see build an advertising campaign that focuses on the uniqueness of first cola in the comparison with aerated drinks right and that's a good right that's a good positive that's a good positive option right okay so basically the build an advertising campaign that focuses on the uniqueness of first cola right why this is why this drink is important why people should drink it right so when you are taking up any product take that positive out of it right the very very positive option uh, others negative negative campaign about other things and positive uh, positive campaign about uh, your product should always the latter one should always be preferred actually right so that's a good positive option okay so see i'll keep for now let's look at d option guys <clears throat> uh try indirect marketing techniques and refrain from advertising since a repeat of the it is possible right so again see indirect marketing technique is again not a good option because uh, not not a good option because if people are not un, uh, if people are not aware of the product product actually they won't be buying it okay or they they can, it can basically uh, slow down the sales also so again that's not a good way of advertising right or it's not good way for advertising for any fmcg product any fmcg product not a good way of right advertising okay uh with the refrain from advertising so people you need to make people aware aware of those right now e option is tie up with successful brand in the edit say edited segment to use their customer reach okay so tying with uh, some successful brand in the edited segment to use their customer reach so option 5 is basically uh it's called uh, you are uh, they all are your com- competitors right okay so competitors see this not uh, you're not going to tie up from your competitors right you're trying to make your own individual brand actually okay and uh, there's a phrase we can use here okay that's sleeping with the enemy right so uh, tying up their brands and denting up own profits is not a, not at all a good option right? we can eliminate a e here so c is the best positive answer for this right okay so hope you like this like this guys so let's continue the series in the next video thank you for watching